so this is my entry into a local speed paint competition that we had. Um, it's a corn mortals blood secretor. Uh, so I started off with um, Blood Angels Red, the contrast paint, and I'm just painting in all the armor as well as the symbol. Being super messy because I know I'm going to come back with a metallic color later and uh, fix all that up. So then I went on to use uh, Darkoath Flesh all over the skin of the guy. It's a darker skin tone. I imagine the corn guys probably get pretty tan running around getting skulls for the skull throne, so figured I'd go with that. I then moved on to the brass color, which is brass scorpion in this case. I'm just putting this on all the armor trim, as well as the sort of trim, I guess you'd say, on the axe, and then all over the banner. Um, in a non-speed painting situation, uh, more of this would be different colors. Um, I'd mix it up a little bit because I imagine that corn guys are not getting a lot of refits for their equipment, so I feel like it should be a little more patchwork. Um, but in this case, because we only had 90 minutes to complete this, I just went brass across everything, and it I think it turned out fine. Um, it was slow going. This model was maybe not the best choice for this competition. I did finish. Um, but all this trim around the corn symbol and stuff, if I had chosen a simpler model, I may have, or I might have been able to go in and add some more detail to this miniature, but it turned out okay, and I'm happy with it. Um, the other thing I would have liked to do is to add some more highlights to this. I wasn't able really to do anything other than this base coat. Um, and again, it worked fine, but... In a non-speed paint situation, I would have liked to go in and highlight the copper bronze color. And then give it a shade and maybe one more final highlight. But speed paint, some sacrifices have to be made. and Just the base coat was the sacrifice in this case. So then I went on to some Iron Warriors, the dark silver color. I basically just painted everything else that was metallic on the miniature in this color that I hadn't already painted in the Brass Scorpion. Uh, so that was the spikes on the banner, the sort of chainmail loincloth thing, the blades of the axe, and the chains on him. Just to give it a little bit of variation, like I talked about with the Brass Scorpion, um, just because not everything should be the same metallic color. Some things should be a little different. So then I went on to his pants, and a friend of mine has a corn army, and he did a bunch of his pants in yellow. So I did Nazdreg yellow for this guy's pants just for fun. And then I'm going in with snake bite leather um, and painting basically everything else that isn't a bone on this guy in this color. So that was all the straps, uh, the handle of the axe, all the wrappings around the banner the leather straps, his belt, his shoes, basically everything. This is just a couple little touch-ups with the Iron Warriors, and I forgot to paint the collar around his neck, so I did that. Then I went in with uh, one of my favorite base coats for uh, bone color, which is Rackarth Flesh. Not a contrast paint, it's a, uh, a layer paint. And I'm just base coating every bone on this guy in this color. So that was the main part of the banner, the sort of backbone ponytail he has and then the skulls on the big chain plus on his front then i'm going in with some uh, administratum gray and just doing the little bit of fur that's on him then coming back with skeleton horde contrast and going over everything that i just painted with the uh with the rackarth flesh skeleton horde is a great color for this, as one might assume. It's a aptly named for its job. So here I'm just doing a little bit of white on the teeth and the eyes, and then I came in with some Talisar blue and uh, just colored the eyes a color, and then used the hairdryer real quick. Then I'm taking some wraith bone here and dry brushing the bones. This will be the first of the two, 
Um, here I am putting the Basilicum Gray in a couple places on the silver, in a couple nicks on the armor, and then just in a couple places just to try to get the variation of the, uh, of the metal colors. And then here's the final product when it was all said and done. Hope you enjoyed this quick time lapse video. Um, there'll probably be more of these down, down the line, I'm sure. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.